I'm going to start off with uh, one of my worst performances in a while. And so this is the top set of that day um, on my deadlift day this past Thursday. Um, it was 295 for three. And it sucked. It was really bad. <laughs> we are about to see it. The second rep was okay. Uh, it wasn't even that great. Um, and then the third one was like horrible. It was awful. And, you know, I don't know what to say on that. Um, there's a lot of different reasons this it was probably the case that um, that I just didn't do it that well uh, this, on this day. Um, you know, I did the the AMRAP. Oh my god! Like that is the worst. Holy crap! That is so bad. I don't even know what I just did. Um, but you know, it's I just I did the AMRAP on my first set. Every once in a while, I just like don't have it together, and then I do like an AMRAP on my first set. This is like such a thing with deadlifting. I kind of I kind of went into it having a bad feeling about. It. I don't know. So I like just didn't, I wasn't on, on board at all with like just with doing a good job with that AMRAP. So then I did um, three more sets of doubles with that. Uh, I was kind of, I look a little bit pissed about the, uh, this, this particular platform is pretty uneven, which was giving me some problems. But um, yeah, and I didn't even actually record the last double because the gym was just kind of a madhouse and it was really hard to record. I mean, I've got a big thing in front of my face through basically all this deadlifting um, part of the cage there, which is fine. Uh, we don't need to see my face when I'm deadlifting. Nobody needs to see that. Um, so now we're going to move on to my volume squat day that I did the day after that. I normally like to have a rest day between my uh, deadlift day and my, my volume squatting day, and it didn't happen. Um, that was a warm-up, final warm-up, 140. Um, so, uh, I just, you know, I went into this session and I have felt worse after deadlifting days, actually like a lot worse. Um, physically wasn't, the back wasn't doing too badly. Every once in a while, I mean, I just get pretty sore if I do higher rep deadlift stuff. It's just as how it goes. Um, so that was, you know, yesterday wasn't really enough to make that too much of an issue. But I think it, honestly, it just kind of fatigues the heck out of my system to just do a deadlift day. It's just so intense. Now, the next day, sometimes I just crash, and like at the end of this session, I had to just cut work out because I did all the work sets quite well, and you're just watching work set after work set here. But then, like the rest of it, I just I man, I, I cut off a good morning thing because I was getting dizzy from like the good morning sets. I have one of them at the end of this video, um, and so it was just kind of like it was an off day. It was just like okay, you're just gonna like call it whatever. Um, so I just did, I pounded out five sets of 150 for five, so there was a lot of fives uh, going on. And the, that rep was kind of a misgroove a little bit. Um, but overall, actually, I'm not going to be hard on myself on this day. I never really, I, I don't really enjoy the volume squat days. They're really not my favorite thing to do. Um, so if I have a relatively good one, then I'm like, dude, awesome. Like, that is great because they're just, they're, I just hate doing them. Um, so, you know, I did I did a lot of stuff right, I think, um, watching these. You know, I'm doing this beltless. It's just been kind of my uh, thing to, to run a bunch of beltless cycles with volume. Maybe I'll change that in the future. I don't know. Maybe leading up to the meet. Um, because I kind of do squat very slightly differently with my belt than without it. I'm not even sure quite how to describe how that works. Um, haven't totally figured it out, but I certainly... I think I even like change my eccentric a little bit based on whether or not I'm wearing a belt. Um, I certainly sit into it differently. I just, you know, you're supposed to have a difference between your belt and your not belt and squat. Um, so that was great. Good for me. That was good for a spread. Um, the speed on these is pretty darn good um, for me. So, you know, we'll see if maybe I choose to put on a belt uh, for volume work maybe in like a later cycle or two especially to like save my back i mean i hate to say it, but my back has been beaten the hell up in the last week like i mean thankfully today on bench it didn't really feel that bad i was a little nervous about it because i mean every single day for the last four days it's just been like i'm like wow my back is really fried and have i been rolling it yes have i used like a tennis ball thing on it absolutely i mean it feels great i, I really enjoy doing that but uh it doesn't make it go away you know if you're if your muscles are just like wow like you've been using this a lot sometimes you're just gonna have to deal with it right you just come in here and you do your little squat sets and your your back is fried so um as you can imagine you know running into good mornings with that after doing a bunch of squat sets um 
it wasn't, I think I just started to like fall apart doing those. Oh, look, I didn't edit this or it did and I didn't take it out. Okay. Not really sure what the deal is. Sorry, you guys. You're going to watch me walking around here. Um, so here's, here I'm going to do a set of good mornings. Um, I did like another one of these and then I was just like, screw this. I mean, I don't usually, no, I wasn't like, screw this. I, I never do that. Like, it's hard for me to quit out on anything, but I decided to just do two sets, um, instead of my custom three because like it like I said I was kind of coming off of getting a little dizzy um which is always a little bit of a sign like usually it's just a sign that I don't know what to do with myself when I'm breathing uh during a set but it's also it doesn't always happen so sometimes like when it goes down I'm like hmm you know maybe see what's happening with my um you know with the stuff along those lines today and maybe just call it a day so I, you know and this looks like crap quite honestly I've Oh, I, I don't know. Like, my good mornings have looked much better than this um, before. So, yeah. Um, but here's here's some assistance work I did. Um, I guess that's why I'm showing this after after the squatting. I don't really show a whole lot of that stuff in these videos usually. Oh, my goodness. Terrible. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to put up a bench video really soon because that's what I did today. And uh, thanks for watching this one.